Hello and good morning everyone! Hopefully some of you might have missed me because there were some slight delays in my morning routine which brought me up that I'm a little bit delayed but I'm here now. <laughs> Isn't that a good thing? And I'm the famous indie advisor, my name is Andre Bernhardt. <laughs> I'm happy to be here as I'm curating the NRW Indie Expo and together with me in the studio right now are Robin and Juliana. Without Which slightly delays in our morning routine, we were <laughs> exactly. here, already had our first coffee. Uh, this Mine's is my gone. first coffee. Thanks and a lot for mentioning that again. Yeah, yeah uh, they will be playing the game, but it's not only us three sitting here, but we also have one of the devs here, which is Uroy. Thanks for joining us. Hello and good morning. Hello, it's actually Uroj, and I handle the marketing side. Uh, I'm not a developer. Ah, okay. But, but that's also fine. At least you are involved in making the game somehow, right? Uh, yeah. So uh, as being a marketing communication person myself, I really appreciate have someone of my own tribe here. Hello! Uh, <laughs> so, nice to meet you. Actually, good to find someone from the same field. So before we jump into the game, tell us a bit more then about the studio and your role within the studio. So basically, uh, we are an indie game studio uh, based in Pakistan. So we have been making games since 2010 and there were some good titles. And recently our title Explotons was selected in Apple Arcade and now ah, we are working on our latest title Lost Winds 2, which uh, we are going to play in a few seconds. Yes. And uh, yes. That, that, that's nice. I think we never had someone from Pakistan within our show. I'm so happy that this all works out and th that you could take the time to be here and tell us a bit more about the game. Um, if you had to explain in a nutshell what the game Lost Twins is about, um, what would it be? So basically the idea was that we, we had a title called Lost Twins uh, way before. That was the yeah. part one, and which, which was launched on Google Play Store. So we got very positive feedback regarding that. So we thought of uh, making a sequel. So Lost Twin 2 comes in with a store, better storyline, better graphics, and a better gameplay. Yeah. Uh, it's basically a puzzle platformer, but uh, it's also a slide and match puzzle within that. So, uh, you know, it's a bit casual, but also a bit of a fun experience. Uh, you can say it's a unique mixture of uh, simple slide and mass muscle, muscle uh, puzzles and also a bit of an adventure and interactive puzzles in the same game. And now we somehow lost you due to some technical issues with the sound. But I guess let's jump into the game while we're trying to bring you back. No, uh, everything's I, fine. Okay. I can hear you proper. Okay, cool. Very good. Then, but okay, we know it's a puzzle platformer, which also has some sliding puzzle mechanics. Yeah. Let's jump into the game now. Wow, here we are. So, what's the size of the team working on the game, and how long has it been in development? So we are like eight to ten people. It's keep off staying. It's kind of changes. Like sometimes we have part-time workers also. Yeah. And the game uh, has been in development for like we started in early 2020. Oh, that's but beautiful. obviously we had the concept from our previous title Lost Twins, so it was always on the back of our mind. Yeah. But why, why have you decided for the mix of the 3D and the 2D, like a 3D world and 2D characters? So basically, uh, the 2D characters and 3D world, it helps actually in uh, differentiating between the playable uh, environment and the background environment. That, that was a main factor, that players can easily di differentiate what is interactable and what is not interactable. Other than that, uh, the graphics has mostly been inspired by Studio Wibbly, so, and uh, yeah. we have ma many people in our team are fans of puzzle games, so yes, that's how it came into being. And it really, I mean, by judging so far from what we can see, it really, really looks beautiful. Oh, the, the, the phoenix? Is it a phoenix or something similar? I really like that bird. Uh, it's actually inspired by Chinese characters. So yeah. uh, we, we, we can, I cannot disclose the final name of the bird yet, but mm -hmm. because we are still in the development stage, but you, you guys will find out soon. 
what were, what were the that? inspirations for the game? I know there are some games who had this um, puzzle and slide mechanics for building the level and everything. Were there some special inspirations or titles that you really admire that were yeah, bringing you into uh, this Well, track? generally, uh, our basic idea was from our previous title. Yeah. Uh, so I, I wasn't okay. a part of the team back then. So that, that's a question that uh, my team can answer better regarding that. But otherwise, obviously, uh, your studio Ghibli has been an uh, inspiration for the character development. So yeah. I, can, I can say that you guys can find a hint of that in our characters. Look at Jules, how she figured out the gameplay in no time. Yeah. Shifting all the level tiles. Yeah, no, it gets difficult in the next level, so let's see yes, how he you does are. that. The version that we are playing right now, is that a final build or is it like, how far is it in development already? Uh, it's a demo build uh, that we have given us like now. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the gameplay is not uh, out yet officially, so oh. we are in the middle of the development. It's like 60 to 70 percent complete. Yeah. We plan to go launch it to in go. the next year. Okay, oh but there's no there's no uh, planned release date yet, and we're not getting any more info than it's going to be next year. Then I guess. I yeah, think it's, it will uh, fall. yeah, it will it's, fall? Uh, there's no final date yet, but hopefully we will we will be launching it at the first quarter by the end yeah. of the first quarter. Uh, hopefully, mm. uh, 2022. And if if our audience is interested in your title, how can they follow along the progress? Are you on Twitter, TikTok, or what's the best way to connect with you? Uh, we have our presence on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We have our Discord if channel. You put this yeah. up, you may get the treasure. So lots and of the opportunities best thing to is connect. that we have a website for Lost Winds 2 where yeah. you can actually go and sign up and you, you will get the updates. And you can even get a chance to uh, participate in our playtesting if you sign up there. The website is uh, www wrpgames.com slash lt2 yes. uh, please type that specific address otherwise you might get in somewhere broken links. what happens when you fall down with the boy sure thing please write mm -hmm. it correctly sure yeah it's, uh, actually it's quite good that we brought two people to play it here so we have the full riddling experience from our side brought together to to uh, solve this game or this level no, wait, that's where I um, came from. yeah that's where you came from but by, by taking a look <laughs> at the demo this is the final quality that w w what we can expect when the game will be out there or is it just like are there still things missing uh, except of the content within the demo like uh, the actually uh, the, uh, the demo shows happened. quite what the original form will be uh, the graphics i would say they, they okay. uh, maybe a bit improved yeah yeah because uh, i think this is uh, more of a low quality version because we, we had uh, some doubts that will, will, the, will it be up. playable or not we yeah. need some help we need some help no no oh. no no let me puzzle a bit we need some help please i want to progress let, let, let me try something okay then actually i try. also need to see the tiles to help you guys because <laughs> otherwise I, I personally couldn't figure out you are on the right path you need to bring that box to the staircase to actually climb the staircase okay so uh, let's see the, the, the box that's the box is I think in the bottom tile, but yes. that is behind our faces. So. <laughs> yeah, you I need to bring that totally box to already. that staircase somehow. But how to go Actually, there? Drop it down and then match ah, that tile yeah. with the stairs one and bring the box there. How do I get to the box? You just put okay. it on the right side, maybe. Top, and now okay, top wait. left. I can just, you know, move them in this direction. Uh, move it down. Okay, this is kind. Actually, I think the character, the boy character was there and then you brought the boy character down without bringing the box down. So now you are in trouble. <laughs> oh, we had, we had a dead it's end. It's your fault, no, Robin. It's, no, it's not <laughs> you my told fault. Me. You, you just did not jump uh, no, 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 far enough. No, 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 it's back there, right? You can actually go and do that box thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have an idea. Don't fall down the hole, though, like. You have to jump over and ah. yeah, I can just disconnect ah. it. Yes, it's, now you can take the box so there smart. and connect so it, smart. and it will fall down. The very smartest. How's the chat so, doing? 
Is this one of the more easy levels or is this as complex as it gets? No, it is actually really easy. Like, I think they, they kind of missed, they just missed how to get it down. Ta-da, but this looks good. Box drop down. Yeah, you just, you have to think a little bit before, like, move, uh, randomly moving the tiles. But it's, it's not that you get a, to a dead end, you, you have to swap the tiles and you will eventually get there, but uh, that would need some thinking too. What are you doing now? What? Okay, where, where oh, are you now? Yeah, I'm... Uh, you, you can actually <laughs> switch the characters. Like, you, you can switch to the girl character by clicking on the button in the down, where, where they show the girl face. Mm -hmm. So you can use the other character to do things instead of just using one character. You see, now it will shift if you click there. So you yeah. can take her upstairs and then you can take the guy upstairs. <sighs> But don't you think it would be a great idea to have some kind of co-op mode in this game, as you have two characters already? Aren't there any plans for having co-op options somehow? Yeah, we actually thought about that, but like that—that that would need much more time to develop yeah. the. So right now there are there. no plans for implementing a co-op in this. Okay, so maybe if there's a Lost Twins uh, 3 coming out anytime yeah, in the maybe. future, there could yeah. be a, if, if a um, Lost co op mode. If comes out or this gets no, big no, no. enough, then, then uh, maybe we, uh, we can plan that, but right now there are no plans for such a thing. Yeah. We got um, all the gems and the second level. Yeah. Also, hey, Jeff Rap! Congrats, definitely you two are the puzzle experts that we have right yes. here. Thanks a lot for solving this. I would have been totally lost already. Um, <laughs> what um, okay. platforms do you plan to release the game on? Even Will more it be complex. PC only, mobile only? No. No, it's going to be multi-platform. Uh, yeah. We plan to release it in mobile, PC and uh, probably consoles too. Yes. But so, uh, probably PC will get the first release. Ah, okay. Sorry, didn't get this in the beginning. Uh, and with, with uh, when we talk about consoles, you mean like Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, everything? Uh, yes. We, we haven't uh, actually planned what console right now, but we do plan to bring in console. When that, that comes into discussion, we will definitely disclose that where it's going to be. Yeah. Regarding the amount of tiles that are in every level to solve, is it always going to stay like three uh, tiles or is it getting more complex on this side? Uh, for now we have three, but in our previous title, like Lost Twins 1, we even had some uh, some levels with five tiles. So as the game progresses, it does get difficult. But yeah. uh, till, till now, the game that is developed has three for now. Yeah. But maybe if uh, in the advanced zones, we m I might add more. It really, really looks beautiful. I can feel the Studio Ghibli touch here, and uh, I guess Robin and Jules agree with me that it's yeah. definitely a um, beautiful looking game. Yeah, on the 2D so nice. parts, definitely. How do you do the playtesting for a game like this? I mean, uh, uh, is it just, are you sharing it with friends or with, with first fans to make sure that the rails are not too complex, to or are you, there, yeah, but I'm curious about that. Bridge. I don't have an idea. So, like, firstly, we do internal tests within our yeah. team, and we see how people go with it. But oh, usually, we can solve it because we have been in the development, and we have seen how the art and everything. So it's yeah. oh, no. usually oh, no. easy, easy for us. And then we do contact beta testing, like closed betas and like open beta testing. So we uh, we get an I idea really like that how how much a level takes and how difficult it is. And and you did. And you did a good job, as the two of them um, already solved the next level. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I like, I really like the 3D landscapes, and there were glowing rushes, and they were so pretty um, and magical. This level requires some thinking, so let's see how they, how they do this <laughs> one. <laughs> oh god, this... Okay... Yeah, so... Did did I, so like the the main thing is like uh, when if you switch the characters at the right time and use them properly, the, the levels becomes quite easy. But if you keep on using just one character, it it can become quite difficult. So yeah, the thing that you are standing on definitely needs something to be dropped hmm. on it. 
<laughs> otherwise it, it will again go up yep push Please. it up and then it will roll down and will break the door do you think that what it'll do no <laughs> no i'll try anyway oh, just oh, for you <laughs> nope nope oh but it, it sounded like a very good idea. It sounded like a good plan. Yeah, Certainly. I just wanted you to do the Sisyphus. Hey, Hapak! Like the regulars joining in. Watch it. Mm. Good morning. But this could be like. Ah, yeah, okay. Okay. Oh no! There's something blocking the path. What? Yes. What yeah. is this? Oh no, it's a I... stone block. Uh, yeah, I think you cannot go there. That path was, I think, you have to go purposely there blocked first because we don't want the you to go there. there. The that, stone doesn't And then we can throw it down there. through that hole in the top. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's what the German says. Yeah, well, Jules, welcome Jules, Jules to and, Germany. Jules and me are the uh, 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 our regulars in our morning show and this is our yeah, thingy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is the usual German style? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah Actually, yeah. I would recommend you uh, catching that crystal before dropping that stone, because otherwise it will become too difficult for you. Okay, you stick there. Oh, God. So, did we mention already, because we are slowly running yep. out of time, that the demo is publicly available somehow? Is there any chance that the audience can play the demo as well? Uh, yes, uh, you can sign up at the website and uh, we will surely send emails to the people for the for play test and drop the ball for Okay. Something. Yeah, I'm just thinking about So things. definitely oh, make yeah, sure everyone who is watching, if you're intrigued by the level of puzzle um, solving that is uh, included no, and what you're seeing right now, to sign up um, uh, or to, to like, go to the website. Can I send web the website somewhere or like, where, where can I send you the link oh. or? Um, Ooh, yeah, uh, we will figure this out afterwards. I mean, right now, I don't okay. know if we can, can see, but you can boulder, send it to me via email. Uh, I will take that. a look, but we'll make yeah. sure to post yeah, this in uh, one of our later um, uh, shows to make sure that people can sign up for this and take a look at the web page. Don't hit the girl. I won't. Oh, I oh, think oh, it's oh don't kill anyone by pushing the stone. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you hit the girl, but we just <laughs> did not see it. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, but we, we don't kill people yeah, in our game, so no I one will die. No one is going to die here within no, this no, game. No, 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 or getting hurt. Or getting hurt. <laughs> yeah. what, what's the uh, name of the characters again? Uh, the, the girl is named Abby and the boy is named Ben. Cool. And, and, and Abby is like 10 minutes older. We are, are not kids. supposed to know the name of the bird. Bird. bird, bird. M mystery Phoenix. Another mystery. Yeah, cool. oh, this is the mystery this... bird. And actually, these twins get uh, lost in this mystical world. That's the story. And yeah. they are guided by this bird, but they don't know that if this bird is actually guiding them or is it actually leading them to uh, even more like lost position so yeah. that that's a mystery hmm. so, so do we have time for another level i'm not sure i think i mean at least give it a try until someone tells me we are running out of time okay well Still good to go tech wizards let us, let us know <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of i would say this is a difficult level this is a really difficult level now yeah Wait. because uh, I think, yeah, okay. this is with the water one, right? Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm here. Nice. Now you can swim. Yeah. Can you swim? I can yeah, swim. this oh, yeah, one is with the water one. Actually. I, I, I t personally oh, the took swimming. like go, 30 I'll go minutes back out to again. solve this level. <laughs> go back out again. Yeah, just, uh, I want to see the, the jump into the water because I really like the graphics. I gotta, oh yeah. Look at this. Splash. Oh yeah. This is beautiful. beautiful. Hey. Don't get my lines, uh, Andre. <laughs> beautiful is international the international word for something being beautiful, oh, oh. so <laughs> Did I ever mention that I don't really excel at puzzle platformers? Wait, how I can't get out again? Uh you can climb that rope. Yeah. Go to the right. But it's I can! 
It's like a wall. And I guess we need to leave it here <laughs> okay, uh, to good. end the demo <laughs> session with a nice cliffhanger of how to get jump, back jump, into jump, the jump. water I again. Jump. Everyone Whoa! who's interested in finding that out, uh, definitely uh, make yeah, sure to look... Yeah, they'll figure it out somehow. <laughs> ma ma make sure to look for Lost Twins 2 on the internet. We will also post the link later on. I'm not sure whether someone already did, but we will definitely do so. Make sure to follow the game, download it, uh, try the demo. And yeah, thanks a lot everyone uh, with me in the studio right now. Thanks a lot, Uroy, for being with us and uh, taking the time to explain everything about Lost Twins 2. And uh, also a big thanks to Jules and Robin for doing all this crazy riddle solving together. And I think you made an excellent job by showcasing the game. Thanks for having us and thanks for sending us such a beautiful game. Yeah. yeah. Thanks we, we for were... playing and oh, that was a really good time. I, I hope you jo enjoyed the game. And Definitely. Everyone, please sign up and I mm -hmm. hope you enjoy the game. So that's it from my side. We will. Thanks and a lot thank again. You. We're going to a short break and then we will back again with some more exciting and amazing content. So I think the next one is a VR game, right? Don't spoil too much. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. So everyone stay with us. Short break. We will be back. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.